In this video, we're going to go ahead and work out the exact value for the sine of 27 degrees, and we're going to do so using the difference formula here for sine, and it has this expansion. And uh, it will require the use of these two values. We have the sine of 18 and the sine of 72 degrees, and it's given by these two expressions. And these values were found in other videos, and the values were found from scratch by writing equations and solving them, and these happen to be the roots of those equations. And so I have linked to these videos down in the description for this video. And these are uh, interesting to watch if you're uh, curious about where these values came from. But they will allow us to find other values of sine. So let's go ahead and do this as sine of 27. So I'm going to write this, and my A and my B values here are going to be 72 degrees and 45 degrees, because 72 minus 45 is my 27 degrees right there. And so I'm going to go ahead and use this expansion. So it's the sine of 72 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees minus, and we're going to say the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 72 degrees. Well, okay. Well, a couple of these, the cosine of 45 and the sine of 45, those are really easy. They're actually both the same, the square root of 2 over 2. But uh, we have the sine of 72 and the cosine of 72 to contend with. So let's go ahead and put the sine of 72 first. We know that's going to be the square root of 2 over 4, and then times this square root expression here, and the cosine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. And from that product, we're going to subtract the sine of 45, which is also the square root of 2 over 2. And then times, well, it's the cosine of 72. But notice I don't have the cosine of 72 up here. But sine and cosine do have this nice relationship where since 18 and 72 are complementary angles, the cosine of one and the sine of the other are equal in value. So that's the nice relationship that we have. So I can go ahead and exchange the cosine of 72 for the sine of 18. And that's a value that I know because I found that out in another video. Okay, so here we go right there. And so the best we can do is kind of clean this expression up a little bit. So we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which makes 2, which could cancel with this 2. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel all that. And so it looks like we have one-fourth here times that square root expression minus, and then it looks like I can just multiply these across. So the square root of 2 over 8 times that uh, square root of 5 minus 1. So it looks like this isn't too bad. So the sine of 27 degrees can be given by this expression. And so let's go ahead and grab a calculator, and we're just going to verify that uh, this works out okay. Okay, so here's our calculator. And let's go ahead and do the inverse sine, and we'll go ahead and put this ratio in. So we're going to start with the 1 fourth, and we're going to multiply that by the square root expression. And we'll jump out of there, and we'll subtract then this a square root of 2 divided by 8, and we'll multiply that by the square root of 5 minus 1, and then we'll close everything up, and ah, 27 degrees. So that works just fine for our ratio, and uh, again, that ratio was made possible uh, by having these other values of sine first, and, and again, those were found from scratch in those two other videos, which I would encourage you to go watch if you're interested in that, and it happens to be much more interesting than just um, putting values into a formula and finding the value for the sine of 27 degrees.